Steadily, we turn our attention to the women's singles. Another player from Denmark, the home crowd favourite here, but Lena Christofferson's got it all to do today against the two-time world championship medalist, Tai Su Ying. Pompawi Cho Chuong is the uh, Thai player, the number 11 seed, awaiting the winner of this next match between Christophers and Tai Su Ying. In round three, Tetatsa and Carolina Marin go at it in this section as well to set up a potential quarterfinal opponent for one of these. Marin looking for a fourth World Championship title. Well, you can tell by the crowd reaction who came out first. That's Lena Christofferson. Making her way steadily down those tricky looking steps. Well, a massive round of applause as well for Tai Su Ying. And why not? 214 weeks she spent at world number one. Well over a year consecutively. And one of the finest players to have ever owned a racket. Going to be a tough test for Lena Christofferson today. But maybe, just maybe, on home soil and with this home crowd, she can overcome one of the greatest women singles players we've seen in recent years. Lin, black or red? Red, black for you, okay? Red. Time. Sir, we receive. Receive. Thank you. Well, our umpire with the toss of the coin, and that's head to head red 1 0. But only this year, surprisingly, the uh, only previous opium, oh, uh, previous meeting was the Singapore Open just a few months back, where Tai Su Ying came through in straight games in the round of 32. Twenty-three year old Lena Christofferson from Dianaland in Denmark. She's just outside the top thirty in the world, but she was up at number seventeen for three weeks. Not all that long back. A tall rangy player. Tai Su Ying and her terrific racket skills. Oh, before we get to Tai Su Ying. A quick mention for that match yesterday between uh, Christofferson and the Peruvian Ines Costello. Just 31 minutes that took. It was uh, pretty steady going for Christofferson. Tai Su Ying's 29 years old now from Kaohsiung in Chinese Taipei. There's that high ranking number one in the world. She really did dominate for so long. Medal at the Olympics in Tokyo. Two times world championship medalist as well. Silver in Huelva in 2021 and bronze last time out in Tokyo. You can see that seeding place gives her a bye in the opening round. 15 world tour titles she's got. Chinese Taipei was her last just a few months back, runner-up in uh, Korea. That's Fabio Lopez, our umpire. He had a good game earlier. 
getting ready with the uh, issuing the cards for time wasting and whatnot. Yasan Sairali, our service judge. Well, to play. Oh, let's just wait for uh, our umpire to get this one underway. So it might take a moment or two, so whilst we've got the opportunity, uh, Steen Pedersen, very pleased to have you with me again here today. It's going to be a tough ask for uh, Lena, even with this home crowd, I would think. What do you, what do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's the, <laughs> the clear underdog here, but, but um, she's going in uh, full of hope and confidence and wants to make the most of it. Right, tied to in Chinese Taipei. And on my left... Lim Stoppersen, Denmark. <laughs> Lim Stoppersen to serve. Love all. Play. Oh. Well, like you said, Steen, I mean, it, it feels to me like a free hit for yeah. Lena. She can just go out there, play her best, and. and if she doesn't come through it, but, um, you know, she puts in a good performance, she'll yeah. be pleased, and so will the coaching staff, won't they? Yeah, I think you always, you always dream of winning the night before you go on court. You always dream, what if, and... Um, Service and, over. I mean, it's different One conditions off. here than in, in Singapore, where uh, it was excellent conditions for, for Tai Su Ying. He's a little bit slower. It might not change the result, but... Um, but the court is a little bit bigger for uh, Christofferson to, uh, over. to to hit. One. Did well to control that one. Some strappings on the shin bone of the uh, shin of uh, two all. Tai Ying. Uh, I heard an interview with um, Christofferson from yesterday where she says she's, she's going to try and go in and, uh, and steal time from Tai Chi Ying and put pressure on her if she can. And that sounds like a good plan because you know what happens if, if you uh, give Tai Chi Ying too much time, then she'll uh, play with her magnificent technical skills and uh, put deception on almost every shot. Yeah, she sends more people the wrong way than I can remember. And to be honest, Four, we call it a taxi in England as a bit of a joke. Yeah. Tax taxis are expensive here in Denmark. I, I, you know, I wouldn't want to give uh, give Tansu Ying that much time either. Yeah, there's a, there's a different term in, in Denmark. Uh, are you allowed to say it on air? Or? Yeah, yeah, it's like, um, you know, they're, they're very popular, these uh, sausage stands in Denmark. So. It's uh, two sausages because you're sent the wrong way and you, while you're out, you might as well get two <laughs> sausages back. <laughs> I like it. And one of the things that we also have to consider is that this is Tai Chi Ying's first match of the tournament. She hasn't played in the arena yet. She's been practicing in here. So that gives a little bit advantage in that department to Lena Christofferson who played as you mentioned yesterday against the well she's learning that drift quite quickly yeah. that backhand cross lift was attacking and I think she realizes that drift is quite considerable it's moved already today when we first started this morning and I couldn't feel any air conditioning on first thing at nine o'clock there was almost no drift at all but uh, by nine all in the first game I could feel the air con suddenly and there was tons of drift back. Yeah. Oh. And again, it's nothing like like Singapore or uh, Thailand or Malaysia, Indonesia with with the drift. Um, there is some drift, but it's because it's it's in Europe that we uh, we notice it. Uh, 
as far as I recall it, I actually think the playing conditions here are uh, pretty similar to uh, Five, six. World Championships last year in uh, the Japan Metropolitan Gymnasium. Well, that might bode well for um, Akane Yamaguchi in this class in that case. Yeah. Good pace to this uh, match. Oh, wow. Wonderful. Great play by Tai Su Ying, and uh, that was sort of like a rally where now we can say she's um, she's arrived in the match. Didn't take that long for her to get uh, accustomed to uh, playing conditions at least. Reasonably accustomed. One of the things that are special with Tai Su Ying is that because of her magnificent technical skills, when, when there's a lot of drift in an arena, she, she actually plays well playing with the drift. And that's not a whole lot of players uh, we can say that for. But she, she has the technical skills to control it. Just long. And a fine lead from Christofferson. Good save. Well, there is that drift. From left to right as we look down the main camera angle. Started out in play and just moved towards the end. <laughs> Oi, missed it. Nine, three, six. Sometimes I actually feel it's easier for the lady in the picture here, Lena Christofferson, to, to play higher ranked opponents, opponents that try to uh, sort of create the match, that um, she's got an easier time of uh, sort of reacting to that than, than controlling the match herself. It's gone long. Serves over, One, seven, nine. Well, this ought to be a uh, a good chance then for Christofferson, who's well down in the rankings compared to Tai Su Ying. Great play. Perfect trajectory on the uh, cross lift from uh, Tai Su Ying. Who, in terms of lengthwise drift, is playing a little bit up against the drift. Uh, the Chinese Taipei player. That's a great rally. Super deception there from uh, Christofferson. Oi. And this is what we see Nine when uh, all. watching a number of Christofferson's matches. Sometimes the final shot is missing or she decides to go too much for it. This, I think this is hit as a winner. This should be hit as an attack and then follow up because, I mean, even if it comes over, there's a good chance that Tashi Ying will, will, will get to it. But what a great rally and uh, high quality badminton. Uh, Early on in this tournament. Well, it's all square still, which means Christopherson. Oh, that's twice Ten, in three. 
nine. She's missed when she's been reasonably in balance. But an encouraging start for the Dane. Well, it's the finest of margins as we get to the mid-game interval. And surprisingly, it's the uh, Dane with the lead. Tai Su Ying just uh, missing the court on a few too many occasions. 11-10. Eleven, ten, play. Nice net play from Tai Su Ying. And good placement of the smash close to the body. It's over 11 all. Oh, short, short lift. Oh. I'd like to take my words back. There's <laughs> ordinary placement there. Look much better. Right. Twelve, eleven. Over. Twelve. Oh. I don't mind to see that from Tai Su Ying. If she doesn't, oh, well, it was a bit low, to be honest, but if she doesn't find the net on at least one net shot in the match, then perhaps she could have gone tighter all day. Yeah. I learned that from somebody recently. That's over. <laughs> I think his name was Steen. 12. Yeah, you want to test the, uh, the limits. Fabulous taste. Controlling the sideways rift 14, brilliantly. 12. Simply have to start it a, a number of centimeters more to the uh, left. Yeah. And exactly how many centimeters? That's what each player has got to decide for themselves. Shot. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, that previous clear from Tai Su Ying that landed in. It was in her round the head corner. She hit that punch clear, but for me, she started off somewhere around the G of Copenhagen in the background. And it drifted all the way. Fantastic. That's a lovely shot. Sky's drop shot there. Look how close it lands to the net. So far ahead of the uh, first white service line there. Terrific defense. Ooh. <laughs> that is fabulous. 16. Super 13. play. 
play. It's, it's not like as you're an opponent, you 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 realize you don't realize that uh, it's not a new shot. You've seen it and you realize that it could come. It's just so difficult to commit to it because if it's a straight smash, then it's totally gone. Over 14, 16. Yeah, you almost have to gamble, don't you? Yeah. In defense against somebody with that quality. Serves over 17, 14. Being fairly consistent uh, up until now. We haven't seen these streaks of errors that sometimes creep into a game, and that to me is a sign that she's really well concentrated. Oh, she used a drift there again. She started that one out yeah. outside the uh, sideline. Yeah, I, I think that was a little bit uh, lucky. I don't think she meant to play it, no. but she meant to play it that um, that close. Yeah, that's beautiful placement. Consistency is a good word for her tournament results too, Steen. She's, since the last World Championships, she's missed out on the semi-finals only twice in every event. That's amazing. And both of those were quarter-finals, so not, uh, not, bought, not bad tournaments for her. Oh, she, she's... She's been around for so long, Tai Su Ying, and, and has won so much that um, that I think it takes something extra to to get the very best out of her. Uh, and, and this is one of those occasions, the World Championships, Asian Games. Uh, well, she won the Asian Games this year, didn't she? Uh, no, that was the Asian Championship. Oh, Asian Championship. The Asian Games. She won them as well. She's the defending oh. champion back in 2018 in... Um, Jakarta. Have to defend it. The title in uh, a month's time or so in uh, Hangzhou in China. That's a big event for these players. Taking it early there, Christopherson. Beautiful. See, the efficiency of that smash is it, not, I mean, it's a good smash, but it's not a, sort of a bomb or anything. But Christofferson can't tell whether it's going to be straight or it's going to be that disguised drop shot cross that she's um, fallen for a couple of times. Oh, it's in as well. Christofferson challenges call. In. Reasonably quick decision from the line judge. Yeah, and it's on the game point here. So if the line judge is correct, then Tai Chi Ying has taken the first game. And it is. Deep in game. the back of that line, you couldn't get more perfect. And on game point, Tai Chi Ying wins first the challenge. Or rather, Christofferson loses her challenge. And Tai Su Ying, after a uh, a start which was a learning experience, I think, for the Taipei player, comes through 21 16. Oh. 
Well, it's nice to have a Dane in the commentary box, Steen. Uh, what does um, Rune Altang have to say? Yeah, um, well, he talked about that um, Dean Christofferson needs to uh, stand far forward on the court, try and get control of the front court, um, and what to do if she's put under pressure and just have to um, lift high and long and, and still stand far forward of course to to um, prevent being outplayed by the drop shots from uh, Tai Xu Ying and then they talked about um, the attack that it was much more important Second for game. Lina to to get the um, steepness Play. on the attack than actual power and I think that's um, that's a very good point Sounds like a lot of hard work for Lena. Yeah, the problem comes here if um, we saw it already in the One, first rally. If Tai Su Ying is able to find the back line, then it becomes difficult for Lena Christofferson to to stand far forward, and um, there's a good chance that um, Tai will be able to to find that um, back line the way I see it. Comes over. One all. <laughs> that was that was lucky she couldn't Over reach that one time so ying i think she was looking to cover it wasn't she yeah maybe she, maybe so it was away. actually on purpose that she took the racket away three one i don't think she can make mistakes of course she didn't but i don't think she can afford to make mistakes on shots like that lena christopherson but they they're never going to be winners against uh, top opposition. Four, one. Well, that shot there was certainly what a smash, perfectly placed. Yeah. That that's where that's a shot where you can afford a, a, a mistake or two because there's there's also the ones that are correctly placed. They're going to be winners. But the ones that doesn't win shots, that's the same there. It's never going to be a winner. Five, and it's, it's, it seems like it's not even close to get over the net. I might have um, uh, seen it wrong, but let, let's see here. No, I think I don't you're think right. It's in, out of position. It's not. If it was the white of the tape, then I, I could live with it. But it's below the white, and that, that's too too big a margin uh, uh, of error. Yeah, great play. play. Great yeah. play by Tai Su Ying. And we can see that One. she's definitely not afraid to play the back court, and especially the backhand corner of Lina Christofferson, where the sideways drift, of course, takes it in from left to right, but it also helps a little bit so it's not as fast lengthwise, even though Tai is playing with the drift. Yeah, good shot, Tai Su Ying again. Over. Two, six. I think she sensed Lena might have been out of position here because she went quite early on this attack. Yeah. Safe. Can she recover? Oh, she's down again. But you can't fault her effort. Service over. Seven, two. Physical effort levels are up there, at the very least. 
The look at Ty, she's all calm and collected. It's not, it's not like cheering. Yeah, I managed to stay focused or anything. That's just um, Thank you. expected. Lynn. Of course I put it away. <laughs> Nice shot. Eight, two. Nine, two. Well, that's two mistakes and two points that I think Lena would be uh, a bit frustrated with. Poor shot. Wide. Going wide, yeah. Service over. Three, nine. Lynn. Tai Su Ying this time, that's um, forgetting the drift. Four, nine. Service over, 10-4. Squeezing a bit too tight here, Steen. Yeah, but uh, I, I think I think perhaps she wants to put too much pressure on uh, Tai Su Ying. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not that she's successful. 11-4 at the break. And uh, looking strong for the two-time former medalist. <laughs> Altså sammen med de der klier der, hvis du skal slå det der plastik, så skal du virkelig holde og så skal du mene det, så du kan løbe fremad. Ellers så er du nødt til at spille den hen over hende også, for ellers så ligger hun bare og giver dig løbeture. Kørt 1, 20 sekunder. Kørt 1, 20 sekunder. Så er du nødt til at tænke, at komme fremad. Så spil nogle slag, og så komme fremad. Det gør ikke noget, du spiller ned. Det er også fremme i de der kort der. Ja. Men lad være at hoppe op i løbet. Play. Yeah, um, I can say that uh, Wun Ulsing uh, was alluding to the same thing as I did. That um, sometimes it seems like Ian you know, Christofferson wants to do a little bit too much uh, at the wrong time. Sometimes th there's not really uh, an opportunity, so you can just play a little bit safer shot than uh, continue with the rally. Yeah, she, you mentioned she was trying to play a winning shot yeah, too early. Yeah, and, and, and Six, if not a winning shot, then, then a too difficult shot that should give you uh, an advantage. But if the advantage is, like, um, just quite small, then you, you can't play a very risky shot to get a small advantage. Wait. Almost. She was low below the net. Yeah, but uh, but it's the same thing again. Why why do you need to play a shot like that? <laughs> you don't need to, in my opinion. Just lift it. 
Start all over. And this is a situation where I sense from the body language of Tai Chi Ying that she feels that she's got full control, and that might be a chance for uh, Lena Christofferson to get uh, a little bit back in the match. Lovely control by Tai Su Ying. I do like it when players move at pace and play soft. So nice watching that. She's still at it, Lena. Flick serve from Tai Su Ying and the drop out wide from Christofferson. But uh, I mean, from a Danish perspective, she, she's got to change this, Lena Christofferson. She's got to learn it quickly, because otherwise the uh, the um, learning curve in terms of experience against the best players in the world is, is going to be too. Um, What's the opposite of steep? Flat. It's going to be too flat in the learning goal. She, she won't learn fast enough. Nine, fourteen. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Trevor and I were talking yesterday about it in one of the matches where, OK, you're the underdog, but if she's got hopes to beat some of those top players, she can use this as an, a, a chance to understand how to do that. Yeah, exactly. And she's wasting that slightly today. Serves over. 15 9. A quick word on the women's doubles team we saw earlier. Did you watch that match? I know I did. What a shame. Frugard and Torsen fully deserved it, in my opinion. Nice block, Tai Su Ying. Yeah. Super. Counter play from uh, Ty. Super quality of the defense there. I don't recall a lot of cross smashes. I think that could also be a solution because Christofferson is going to run the long distance anyway. Service over. 10 16. Over. Well, we could have um, recorded 10. a couple of our uh, criticisms and just keep replaying them. Yeah, but it, I guess it's also a sign on, on the amount of pressure that Christofferson feels is, is coming from Tai Shi Ying, that, that she has to play really, really sharp. Um, and when you first get that feeling, then it's not so nice. She's made very few mistakes uh, tied in this match here. That was better from Lena. Yeah. Over. 11, Forcing a weak shot. 17. This one. Makes it look so easy. Yeah. Serves over. 18 11. Well, if she can find that backhand corner of Tai Su Ying. 12. 18. And keep finding it. She uh, might build some confidence. The scoreline 
might prevent that, however. I'm not sure she has that much time. Big straight smash winner. Service over. 19-12. Just two points required. Might come back in. Oh, there's been way 20, too many mistakes from Lady Christophers, and she 13. hasn't found a reasonable line between pressure and uh, the risk of uh, scoring all your opponent's points. Game. It's gone long on match points. Tai Su Ying through in just 34 minutes of action. A slightly frustrated performance for Lena Christopherson today. Tai Su Ying, as expected, she learnt quickly in the opening phases of game one and she was emphatic from then on. Winning moments as the clear falls long of that back line. Encouraging signs for the former world number one. Straight games then, 21-16, 21-13 in a total of 35 minutes. Paul and Pari Chochuong are waiting. Tai Su Ying now in the next round as she came through against Juliana Vieira a little while earlier. Well, that's lovely. Such, such an ambassador for the sport, Tai Su Ying. Well, men's doubles coming up next. England's Ben Lane and Sean Vendy are taking on the Indonesian youngsters, Leo Rolly, Carnando and Daniel Martin. And as one two times former medalist, leaves the arena, we welcome another former two-time world medalist, Jill Clark with Steen Pedersen.